Sisterio has been on a roll as of late, and their latest pair of headphones, they've actually addressed a lot of my complaints from their previous flagship pair, so I'm pretty excited to share my thoughts on, on their latest Sisterio Lava headphones. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And before we continue, I just wanted to remind you that we have a Twitch channel where we stream every Friday and Saturday from 8 p.m. and to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. So why not go ahead and drop a follow? And also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And also, make sure to check out the merch store. There's plenty of black and white sweetness to choose from up there. So go ahead and check that out. And then make sure to take a look at the podcast as well, as the podcast always goes live every Wednesday and Sunday. And with that said, enough rambling. Let us get straight into the video. And now quickly, these were sent over for me to review for free, but I'm ready to tell you exactly how I feel about these headphones nonetheless. So do keep that in mind. What we're going to do is take care of the unboxing. So first, let's cut through the plastic wrapping and then open up the lid and re remove the carrying case from the box. Open that up and inside you're going to find some foam padding along with the Sisterio Lava headphones. Honestly, they look absolutely beautiful, in my opinion, and a big step up from last time. Then you will find a USB-C cable for charging and a 3.5 millimeter cable. You will also find instructions inside of the carrying case in case of anything, pun intended. And the exterior design does consist of plastic, though it does feel like pretty strong plastic overall. But the earpiece portion itself has this brushed metal texture kind of material to it with a golden trim around it that really makes these headphones look great. I think that the colors are mostly muted, but I like the look. You're going to find the USB-C port on the left and on the right. You're going to find volume controls, playback slash power controls, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and a noise canceling button. Pretty good here. I'm a fan of the placements of each of these buttons since they're very easy to reach and distinguish amongst each other. And how they feel in general too, since they are actually pretty clicky, so they're kind of satisfying to use. Overall, this design is very much on point for the price. However, speaking of comfort, comfort is another factor that makes these pretty great. There's plenty of soft padding around the ear cups that create a great seal on your ears, and the headband certainly has enough padding to keep these comfortably placed for long periods of time. It's clear that these were designed to be used for long periods of time in general, and that will become apparent as we move forward with this review. You'll see that soon. And now quickly, I just wanted to mention some of the special features here regarding these headphones. You do get active noise canceling, ambient noise as well, very fast charging where they claim that 10 minutes of charging will result in eight full hours of listening, which is pretty insane. It's also got some water resistance and a built-in EQ of sorts that allows you to switch between three different settings, basically. And now this is when we start talking about the sound quality of the these headphones and I have to be honest with you I wasn't expecting them to sound as good as they do I enjoy listening to just about every genre of music that I like such as black metal death metal orchestral some hip-hop and pop I have a great time with these in the normal mode and the normal mode is definitely my preferred mode since it has a great balance of bass and high-end though the lows are still a little bit more prominent with these no matter what so here's the thing specifically with bass heavy genres like hip-hop you get a fantastic amount of bass that is pleasant and kind of feels like a soft boom going straight into your ears and it does actually feel good it is a pretty comfortable yet powerful experience but I can see how the bass can be a little bit overwhelming for many people, which is why I would probably recommend that you listen to genres like it in its low bass mode, as I like to call it, I guess. You still get nice bass, but it brings up the highs and mids some more, making them sound more balanced overall, so the bass isn't quite as intense. However, with, with a lot of other genres, this mode comes off more tinny than anything. There's also a bass boost mode, but if I'm frank, I don't love it because it feels poorly tuned. Just sounds like they increased the lows and, and added more compression, so things sound more muddy as a result. Great sound in normal mode, that's what I would generally stick to if I were you. And when it comes to noise cancellation in particular, I have a lot of thoughts here too. This mode is implemented much better than on their previous pair, that's for sure. It does help with canceling out external noise, but it does feel more like a volume boost than actual noise canceling because 
I can hardly tell the difference between having it on and having it off because these already give you a great seal as it is. Also, ambient mode isn't very good because it doesn't let much noise through your headphones and you can still barely hear anything. It's kind of like pressing a button to just automatically give you a preset to lower the volume just a little bit. That's just kind of how it feels. Like ambient mode is weak here because it doesn't do what it's supposed to all that well. In other words, I feel like noise cancelling isn't even necessary to add here because the seal is good enough to actually keep a lot of sound out and ambient mode doesn't really do too much for you here either. But getting back into the great stuff, so battery life is actually a great selling point here and Cicero touts about two days battery life on a full charge. Now, I've never used them for long enough to actually exhaust them, and I've been using them quite a bit for my testing, and they're still going strong. They haven't died on me at all, so I would absolutely trust these for long trips, and I mean like cross-country trips too. And even if the battery runs out, you've got very fast charging here for a, a short time session of charging which can offer hours of playtime and you can still use them in wired mode if they happen to run out and you don't have a charger on you like you can still plug them onto your phone as long as you have the proper adapters or as long as your phone still has a headphone jack that is now this pair gets very close to being the best value within its price range for sure there are just some things i would tweak to make this an even better pair i think that these headphones have too many features that quite frankly they don't need things like ambient noise and even noise cancellation are things that i would remove in favor of investing that time in developing an app with a virtual EQ instead. That would actually be pretty cool in my opinion. This would give me so much more customization than the presets that they offered here and I can see where they were going with it and I still appreciate having that at all. I actually do find the low bass feature to be pretty nice for certain genres but I would really rather have an app to get more fine tuning overall. And these already have such a great seal that they just don't really need noise canceling. These really will keep a ton of noise out already. So in conclusion, I think that the stereo got very close to making the best headphones within its price range and they are easily at the top five for me at least. They look great, they feel great, they sound great, and they've got a battery to last you an eternity. There are things I would change about these headphones, sure, but honestly, most people won't care. And I understand the buzz behind needing to have noise canceling. I mean, it is a great feature to market after all. But even without those noise features, this is still a really good pair in and of itself. On its own, it really stands up. And you have a very strong recommendation from me here for sure. And if you're interested in purchasing these headphones, then I'll be making sure to leave an affiliate link down to Amazon in the description. You're also going to find links to Luster, which is going to be a great platform in case you're looking for some sales that is going to try to find those sales for you. And it's also going to show you some other recommendations in case of anything. And not to mention that there's also going to be another service that you can use called Abunda if you would rather actually finance these headphones instead of paying for them right off the bat. And you don't need a credit card for this at all and they just offer very simple financing, which is pretty awesome. So everything is going to be left down below. If you use in any of my links, I do get a small commission that does help out the channel quite a bit. So I would appreciate that quite a bit. And also do make sure to stop by the Tech Summit podcast. It does go live every week and we do like to talk about tech quite a bit and some updates and tech news and things like that. But you're going to find links in the description and you can also now find us on pretty much any podcasting platform that you're into. So links to that below. And also I do have a Twitch in case you're interested in watching my live streams, asking some questions. I stream every Friday and Saturday from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern time. So do make sure to stop by. I would love to see you over there. And also some more of my social media stuff right around here, like my Instagram and my Twitter. Do make sure to follow me there too, if you would like. This has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be seeing you all later. Enjoy.